everybody. Thank you for joining me. Um, I want to talk about gauge today. Quite often when I make a pattern, people ask me exactly how many rows would it take for me to make a scarf. And actually it can be any amount of rows depending on what type of yarn you use. Um, I learned this technique off of watching a YouTube video. I believe it was um, the answer lady, she was making Fatima's uh, sweater, but in the beginning she talked about um, how to exactly do a gauge. So that's what I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to give you um, four examples of yarn. We'll be looking at um, something made from Red Heart Yarn, Karen Simply Soft, I have some Big Twist Premium Yarn, and some regular um, Big Twist Yarn, just um, worsted weight. All you'll need is some scrap paper and a calculator. And of course, a um, measuring tape. Okay, right now we're going to be looking at the Caron Simply Soft yarn. What you do, you take your um, measuring tape, you line it up against your loops. We'll count this one as your first stitch. And you count the stitches in order for it to get to um, one stitch. Let's count. One, two, three, four and a half stitches. So you have four and a half stitches that will make an inch. Let's say we have a garment which is exactly 50 inches long. So you would take 4.5, how many stitches equal an inch, times 50. And that would bring you to 225 stitches. That's exactly how many rows it would take you to get to 50 inches. Now let's try it with another yarn. Next, we'll be looking at the Big Twist um, Worcester Weight Yarn. Once again, you'll take your measuring tape, lay it down against your rows, and let's begin to count. We have one, two, three, four, five stitches equal an inch. So once again, let's say we want 50 inches. We would take five, which equals an inch in your rows, times 50, which equals 250 rows. Okay, we'll do it another time with a different yarn. Okay, this time we're looking at the Red Heart Super Saver yarn. We're going to lay our measuring tape down and begin to count our rows. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and a half stitches to make an inch. So once again, assuming um, the length is going to be 50 inches, you take 5.5 stitches times 50 inches. That adds up to 275 rows you'll need to get to 50 inches. We'll try it again with one more yarn. Okay, the last yarn we're going to look at is called Big Twist Premium. Once again, lay your uh, measuring tape down and let's begin to count the rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 rows equal an inch. Okay, our garment is 50 inches, so therefore you times 6 times 50, which will be um, 300 rows. This can work with anything. Let's say you wanted a garment that was only uh, 20 inches long. So you would take 6 times 20, and that would equal 120 rows. Now you can visually see how all yarns work up differently. The Karen Simply Soft yarn, 225 rows. The Big Twist yarn, 250. The Red Heart yarn, 275. And the Big Twist Premium yarn, 300. Look at the difference between the Karen Simply Soft yarn and the Big Twist. That's a total of 75 rows difference. This is why I can never tell you a hat would be 60 rows long. But now you know when you want to make a 21 inch headband, you know exactly how to get the gauge. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next video.